Welcome to my channel. My name is Dr. Neha Mishra and today I will share with you the mythological story of Jagannath Temple located in Puri, Orissa and the historical records of the construction of the temple. I will also include the importance of the temple, its specialty and some interesting and rare known facts about the temple. I have tried my best to cover all aspects in the minimum possible time to provide as much information as possible about this rich culturally significant Hindu temple. Without further ado, let's begin this informative session. Jaya Shri Krishna The Jagannath Temple in Puri, Orissa is one of the most revered and iconic temples in India. Dedicated to Lord Jagannath, an incarnation of Lord Vishnu. This temple is known for its unique architecture, rich history and deep spiritual significance. The story of the Jagannath idols is an interesting mythological tale that is associated with Lord Krishna and his siblings, Balarama and Subhadra. According to the legend, Lord Krishna once expressed his desire to visit his hometown, Vrindavan, along with his brother, Balarama, and sister, Subhadra. However, their aunt, Shubhala, was against this idea as she feared that if the trio left, they may never return. In order to appease her, Lord Krishna assured Shubhala that he would come back soon. He then instructed his sculptor, Vishwakarma, to make idols of them and leave them behind in the temple so that people could worship them in his absence. Vishwakarma made three idols, one each for Lord Krishna, Balarama, and Subhadra. However, he placed a condition that the idols should be made in complete privacy and no one should enter the temple while he was working on them. While Vishwakarma was sculpting the idols, Shubhala became curious and tried to enter the temple. However, she was stopped by the guards at the entrance who told her about Vishwakarma's condition. Shubhala was furious and she decided to teach Vishwakarma a lesson. She sent a group of dancers to distract him while he was working. Vishwakarma was so mesmerized by the dance that he forgot about his condition and allowed the dancers to enter the temple. However, as soon as the dancers entered, they saw the half-finished idols and started laughing at them. This enraged Vishwakarma and he left the temple, leaving the idols unfinished. When Lord Krishna, Balarama and Subhadra returned to the temple, they were shocked to see the unfinished idols. However, they decided to accept them as they were and asked their devotees to worship them. This is how the Jagannath idols came into existence. The idols are worshipped in the Jagannath temple in Puri, Orissa, and are considered to be very auspicious. The temple is visited by millions of devotees every year and is one of the most popular pilgrimage sites in India. The temple dates back to the 12th century and was built by King Anantavaman Chodaganga Deva as a tribute to Lord Jagannath. According to legend, the king had a vision of Lord Jagannath who instructed him to build a temple in his honor. The temple was designed by skilled architects and artisans who combined the styles of Kalinga, Dravida and Chalukya architecture to create a truly unique structure. The temple complex is spread over an area of 10.7 acres and is surrounded by a high wall that serves as a protective boundary. The main temple is a towering structure that rises to a height of 214 feet and is adorned with intricate carvings, sculptures, and artwork. 
The temple is built on a raised platform and can be accessed through a flight of 22 steps known as the Besi Pacha. The temple is home to three deities, Lord Jagannath, his brother Lord Balabhadra, and their sister Subhadra. The idols of the deities are made of wood and are replaced every 12 years during a grand festival known as the Rat Yatra or the Chariot Festival. The festival attracts millions of devotees from all over the world who come to witness the grand procession of the deities on three lavishly decorated chariots. Apart from the main temple, the complex also houses several other smaller temples and shrines dedicated to various gods and goddesses. These include the Vimala Temple, the Ananda Bazaar, and the Gundicha Temple. The Ananda Bazaar is a unique feature of the temple where devotees can buy food offerings for the deities. One of the most interesting aspects of the Jagannath Temple is the practice of the Mahaprasad, which is the food offering made to the deities. The food is prepared in the temple kitchen known as the Rosaghar, which is the largest kitchen in the world. The food is cooked using traditional methods and is served to devotees in a unique way. The Mahaprasad is also believed to have healing properties and is known to cure various ailments. The temple is not just a place of worship but also an important cultural and social center. It has played a significant role in the development of the Odia language, literature, music, and dance. The temple also serves as a venue for various festivals, cultural events, and celebrations throughout the year. The Jagannath Temple is not just a temple but a symbol of the rich cultural heritage of Odisha and India. It is a testimony to the skill and craftsmanship of the ancient artisans who built it and a reflection of the deep spiritual and religious beliefs of the people. Visiting the temple is not just a religious experience but also an opportunity to immerse oneself in the vibrant and colorful culture of Orissa. I hope you enjoyed our session today. Please subscribe to our channel and also share this video with your friends family and especially the kids around you. So that the knowledge of India's rich cultural heritage spreads among the younger generation. I have tried in providing a fun and interactive way of learning so that we can instill a sense of pride and appreciation for our country's history. Let's work together to ensure that our heritage is passed down and celebrated for generations to come.